today's video, I wanted to make a makeup tutorial that's very summery, springy, even though we're in like February and it's pretty cold outside. But for the first time in like what months, we've had sun in France, so I got really inspired to do that. So, yeah, what I wanted to say was I want to make a makeup tutorial on really glowy, dewy skin. Um, I would say bronzy, but I'm really pale. So, we all know that's not really a thing. And this makeup tutorial is definitely suited for, I'd say, every skin type. I mean, I have really oily skin, I have acne, I have pores, I have blackheads, I have it all, okay? But if it works on me, it will probably work on you. It's not the most long-lasting makeup ever, but it lasts a pretty good amount of time on me and I'm really oily, so let's get started. So I already washed and moisturized my face, so now it's time for makeup. So today we're going to use the Stroke Cream by MAC, the original one, and we're going to use it as a um, all-over primer actually, but we want to concentrate it on the high points of the face. So it will be like cheeks, brow bone, nose, chin a little and of course like forehead on the sides especially because if you concentrated more on the middle of the forehead you will look more oily but if it's like here on the sides you'll look, you'll look more glowy in my opinion at least don't take too much this is probably too much honestly i rub it in my fingers and then i put it on the high points of my face like i said nose chin this whole area and with what's left over, I'm just going to go all over the face. I already look... Honestly, I love this product, like the Stroke Cream I Mac. It, I'm, I'm not going to say it's underrated because a lot of people use it and love it, but it, I feel like it's been forgotten a little. It works really well over foundation, by the way. You can use it as a highlighter, you can use it as a primer, you can use it alone, uh, you can mix it with your foundation. I think I'm gonna put a little of this primer, which is a pore filling one, it's the Face To Do Prime by Maybelline. And I'm just gonna concentrate it on the pore area, so here, 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 and here. Also probably gonna put it on the sides of my nose and not on here, because I don't wanna lose the glow. So only take a little amount, only this much. So this is the moment where you want to conceal everything that you have to conceal it, if you have anything to conceal. Because afterwards we'll keep adding some glow and the concealer might tone it down. So what you want to do is to start concealing now before your foundation. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Beige. I have big ass dark circles. I don't sleep enough. Yeah, it's, it's tragic to be honest. I don't do like a big triangle under the eyes like I saw a lot of people on YouTube do. Um, it just doesn't really work for me, it just looks really heavy. So what I like to do instead for the dark circle is to just pop a little here and here. And then I just blend it with my fingers. I feel like it looks really more natural. I like to also put it over as like a night primer on the eyelid. Can you see the difference? Like. I look so much more awake. Um, I look like I've slept more than I have. After this step, I need to spot conceal because obviously. Also, gonna put like a really small amount each time. Just gonna dab it like really gently. Also, like to put it here because I have unusually big pores there. And I have no idea why. Also, you want to dab it in, not like smear it around or it's going to look pretty rough. So, If you have good skin, probably not. But if you have really textured skin like me, no, you know the struggle. So next step is foundation. I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques one. It's a mist, which basically it's like rose water and other stuff inside by Katia. And I spray it on my sponge. I don't even know if it does anything. I just, I just really like it. I don't know. 
Am I the only one? Probably. I should have worn an SPF before, I know that, but yeah, I just, I just didn't. So I'm gonna use this CC cream by IT Cosmetics in the shade Fair, and it looks really good. It's like not matte, it's not super dewy, it's like the perfect natural in between. So this is great if you have redness or pimples, acne, and you want a natural finish that still covers. I wish it was a tiny bit more long lasting. So I'm gonna take a pump of that on my hand. And I'm gonna go again with the stroke cream and I'm gonna add a tiny little bit. Yeah, that should be enough. And then mix it all together. And then apply it on your face with the beauty blender or whatever sponge you have. I still have imperfections speaking through, but honestly, I don't really care because the goal is to look more natural. Most people have imperfections, don't they? Jeez, I'm really white. This is probably why lighting doesn't work. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I just don't go out that much. Next up, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Translucent Powder. So uh, you don't want to use too much powder because the goal is to not look powdery at all. If you can skip that step, then do it. But if you have really oily skin like me, chances are you need to powder at least a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to powder my under eyes in that little triangle thing. Um, the sides of my nose, my chin, and my forehead. So now that we're powdered, I'm going to bronze up the face a little using this MAC palette. It's the um, Christmas collection, I think. It's the shiny, pretty things, I think so, and fair. And I'm gonna use this Blush Dew Fiber brush by Morphe. It's the M427. I like it because since it's dew fiber, it will look very seamless on the skin. I'm gonna take the bronzer shade. I was gonna say, you don't want to put it too far, like you want to step here, but I totally messed up, so my bad. Just don't do it like me. You want to concentrate it on this area, which I didn't do. Don't mind my big ass cap here. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but... I like this bronzer because it looks good on even on very fair skin. It's really subtle. So you don't have that really big like orange mark on your face. This is totally optional, but you can also put some on the sides of your nose to give like a slight contour effect. I actually don't know if it changes anything, so if you see a difference, please tell me. For highlight, what I've been loving these days is either use strobe cream again as a highlight or the Winky Lux Strobing Balm in the shade Bubbles. It just glides on. It's a weird texture. It's like an actual balm which you would think would like really mess up your foundation, but it doesn't. The trick is to use it with your fingers to just take a little like this and then pat it on your skin where you need it. It gives a really like wet look to the skin. There's no glitter. You can also set it with like powder highlight. So yeah, this is it for me for the skin. You feel free to add blush or whatever you want. Um, I'm just not really into blush these days. So I'm just gonna finish my makeup real quick and I'll see you after.
So this is my final look. Um, for eyeshadow, I used the Balm Better Up Eyeshadow Stick in Moonshot. This is really great. It gives you, it gives you a glossy, glossy finish. It doesn't have that much pigment. Um, it doesn't have that much color to it, but the finish is beautiful in my opinion. Inner corner, of course, Winky Lux. Um, to tight line, I used the Maybelline Tattoo Liner in the shade, I don't know, the brown shade. I tried using this light liner Maybelline, it's kind of a beige gold color in my um, lower waterline. I also used as a transition shade the bronzer that we used earlier. Then for liquid eyeliner, I used the new L'Oreal. Flash Cat Eye by Superliner. I really recommend this one. It's really budge proof, waterproof, whatever. Um, but I'm running out of it, so this is why it kind of looks, mm, you know, meh. For mascara, it's the new Unlimited Mascara Waterproof by uh, L'Oreal. I really like it because whenever I put um, mascara on my lower lash line, within 10 minutes, I have really bad um, black marks on my face, which is not, not cute, not cute at all. But this one doesn't, at least for now it doesn't, so I'm happy with that. For eyebrows, I really don't do much. I actually never do my eyebrows, but I just filled in um, little like spots here with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert in the shade Warm Blonde. So you have a little spoolie here and like a little crayon thing. And finally for lips, if you want like the real like summery glow thing, you you can use only the lip gloss, like by its own. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm is really good. But for me, since I have really not pigmented lips, it kind of just looks like I just pat all over my, my face. So under it, I like to apply the Kylie Jenner Kristen Lip Liner. I really like the color. I have the lip kit actually, but so my problem is the liquid lipstick is way too dry and it gives me like a boho lip within like 10 minutes, which is awful. But I love the color so much. So I'm trying to look for a dupe. In the meantime, I just use the lip pencil, which is really good, really creamy, long lasting. I don't have any problem with that. So I just use this as a lipstick. I don't often use setting sprays, but I always use Avion um, Mist. It says it's supposed to moisturize, refresh, tone. So yeah, this is the final look. I really hope you like it. Uh, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And please activate the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload, which is... Well, I mean, I'm trying to get back into it, but, you know, we'll see. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!